Hi, it's Kada, and I have something extremely special to share with you today. I got a customized, one-of-a-kind art doll from the magnificent artist Rabbit. Rabbit, whose pronouns are they them, is a designer of dozens of amazing creations and ideas which they've shared on their YouTube channel for years. And last week, they just opened up a shop. It's called Relics of the Rat. And I was lucky enough to obtain Tempest. So Rabbit's creations are everything from quirky art plushes to punk totes and handbags to gothic jewelry like this fosery that I also got from Relics of the Rat and a ton more. But their most exquisite work, in my opinion, are the dolls. Rabbit is an upcycling artist, so this was a Monster High doll, but every single detail about this doll has been meticulously reinvented, redesigned, and delicately handmade by Rabbit. Since I follow Rabbit's YouTube channel, I watched them make every tiny little detail of this doll on their studio vlog. It was incredible. Rabbit puts such impeccable care and attention into every detail of their art pieces. Even the packaging with personalized notes writing the buyer's name in calligraphy is a little doll care guide. And they give lots of great extras, stickers, and more fun little pieces of art. Isn't that fun? I mean, it's obvious that the love that Rabbit has for not just the artwork, but in the act of sharing these things, in actually doing this work, just all the fun little personalized, customized notes for each one of the buyers, it just really shines in their business model. So with all that love and care and attention to detail, these dolls run around 250, 260 US dollars. And that is one of the more expensive dolls that I own. However, this is more than a doll. This is a work of art. This is a one-of-a-kind piece from an unbelievably talented artist who puts a very personal part of themselves into every creation they make. With any incredible designer, part of the appeal is beyond the art itself, right? It's the artist that makes it. Like, think of like Andy Warhol. Sure, it's playful pop art that seems so simple, but its value is because it's a Warhol. So I feel so incredibly lucky that I got to be among the first patrons of Rabbit's art. Their inventory sells out fast, if that gives you any indication of how fast their career is taking off. And I'm so excited that I'm here for it. And there's another doll that I really want, but I need to pace myself and my wallet and maybe give someone else a chance. Here is Tempest in all of her adorable bat glory. Isn't this cape with the ears just the cutest? It is removable, so we'll do that here in a second. But Rabbit handmade every single piece from the socks to the cute tiny little bows even the little bloomers with the bows. They handmade all of these tiny, cute little hair barrettes with the spider and the spider web little witch hat. 
Look at those eyes. Those eyes are a beautiful painting right there. And look how shiny they are. Like, see, you can even see the reflection of my window in the left eye. The fun little fangs, those sweet, thin eyebrows. Look at her fantastic two-tone pink and black hair. Isn't that gorgeous? Made from upcycled yarn. Let's go ahead and remove the cape. Okay, this is my first time removing the cape. There was even a little tiny snap right there. Isn't that incredible? Look at how pretty this ribbon is. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh I see. The cape and the hood are two different pieces. That's fantastic. So I can keep her little bat ears and bat hood on separate from, oh my gosh, the cape is bat wings. Let's take, oh, that is so cute. Look at the necklace, the choker. This is like velvet or velour. Cute little belt, ribbon belt. And here is more of the hair, which was threaded by hand. And look at underneath the skirt. There's this gorgeous recycled lace. Isn't that cute? Little ribbon. See, this is the bloomers are even underneath her skirt and there's even a little bow there. So talk about your attention to detail. This is her little adoption card. Her name is Tempest. She's a Virgo. She's gentle, mysterious, and romantic. She was adopted by Kata on August 6, 2024. Here are her wonderfully long black fingernails. And her body has like a hint of blush, sort of like distressed blush. Look at the little strawberry and the ghost. Little coffin in the chat. What do you guys think about this gorgeous doll? Here is the Fosery necklace that I got as well. I love how the beads are very dainty. The occasional black bead in with the red. We call it a Fosery because while it is in the shape of a traditional religious necklace, it does not have the correct number of beads so this is merely inspired by the look of a rosary. And here are some of the wonderful extras. Such a delight. I am indeed a forever patron of this artist. So check out Relics of the Rat. Like I said, their stuff sells out fast, but they'll replenish all the time. And my goodness, Enjoy all their fun, fabulous creations because they love doing it. And man, don't we all wish that we could do something we love for work? Yeah. But in the meantime, I just love seeking out local art and supporting my favorite indie artists, especially really cool upcycling artists like Rabbit and actually my husband, John So, who we need to get him a shop next. Yeah. Yeah, we've been meaning to put some of his Barbie art out there. What's taken us so long? So thanks so much for joining me today and hearing about some great, fabulous indie art, including these amazing dolls and some fun jewelry. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!